my day to sleep. Oh! Take a short break and get a drink of water. <laughs> the Divine Dragon looks so cool drinking water! No for the fan club. The Divine Dragon loves to drink water. <sighs> hey, Fram. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a minute? It's kind of important. You want to have an important conversation with me? Am I dreaming? Is this happening? No, you're not. And <laughs> yes, it is. Look, I'm sorry to say this, but could you take it easy with the cheers and whatnot? Huh? I appreciate the enthusiasm, but really, you're making it hard to focus. When each battle is more difficult than the last, I can't afford to be distracted during training. <gasps> you're... you're right. I wanted to support you, but I'm just being annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't intend to... No, it's not your fault. I'm only crying because I'm so worthless. I promise to stay out of your hair from now on. Your beautiful, flowing, perfect hair! <laughs> oh, Fram. I really, I really enjoyed, enjoyed our tea party, party today. Thanks, Thanks for, for inviting, inviting me, Saline. The, the pleasure is all mine, Divine One. one. Our, our conversation made for an excellent spice over an already fine tea. The tea, the tea was fine, wasn't it? it? That, that floral note it had was almost unbelievably good. I'm, I'm glad, glad you appreciated it. it. The, the leaves, leaves were grown in Fearing, you know. 
the, the delicate, delicate subtle, subtle taste, taste embodies the spirit of our kingdom. It is my utmost favorite. Yeah, I've, I've heard, heard the Fearings prefer the pastoral life over any kind of open conflict. That really came through in this tea. There's a Fearings folktale I think you might find interesting. Our royal palace is home to a spirit who ensures happiness for the virtuous. For thieves or interlopers, however, the spirit drives them off with mischievous tricks. <laughs> Imagine, driven off by the prankish antics of a spirit. No serious consequences at all. How effective a deterrent do you suppose such a spirit really is? Even so, it's a lovely story. It's the kind of good-hearted tale that reflects the Fearanese character, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Well then, we must have tea together again sometime, Divine One. Who did a bunch of cleaning? Oh, oops. The Divine Dragon's asleep. I should wait till you're up. Or I could clean up in here a bit too. Throw out the trash, do a little dusting. Oh no, the base! Sorry. I can fix it. I swear. At least the rest of the Somniel is nice and clean. It will take some work. Much better. I 
I hope you'll clean it well. <laughs> ah, that looks so much better. Thank you. Handle that gent. I appreciate your upkeep of the ring. Be thorough now. It looks good as new. Thank you. You're quite diligent. A job well done. I'm, uh, Jean. Should I really be here? I am Etier, a royal knight of Firene. It's been an honor sparring with you. Try not to hurt each other, okay? I'll be your opponent. Why me? It's been an honor sparring with you. I'm, uh, Jean. Should I really be here? I am Louis. Royal Knight of Firene. It's been an honor sparring with you. So, we made it across the border. We're in Rodia territory now. The landscape here, it's so different from Firene. Nothing but rugged terrain all around us. Watch out! <laughs> I would make the same request of you. After all, you are the one sneaking over our border. <clears throat> Identify yourselves, or I will assume you are thieves. This time, I won't miss. I'm the Divine Dragon from Lethos, not a thief! I am Alfred, the heir to the throne of Fyrne, and your ally. The Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Fury. That's right! Now I would like to know, who are you to shoot at us like that? I... I 
I am so, so, so sorry! Huh? I threatened the Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firene! I'm begging, please find it in your hearts to forgive me! It's all right. No harm was done. That was quite the bow, soldier. Must have been hard on the knees. Hmm, wait a second. Your face looks awfully familiar. You're not just a soldier, are you? Uh, no, I'm Olcrest, second prince of Brodia. Prince? I thought so. How's it going, Prince Olcrest? Even worse than usual. I'm sorry for taking so long to introduce myself. Oh. These are my retainers, Lapis and Citrine. Honored to meet you and your coterie. Yeah, welcome to Brodia. I can't say I feel very welcome. You still look like you're ready to kill us. We're merely a little tense. My father, King Morian, received word from Queen Ev that your party was on its way. He ordered us to meet you at the border and formally welcome you to the kingdom. We've been waiting for a long time. And all we encountered were bizarre creatures, or bandits. We assumed you were more of the same. I'm sorry for the delay. We had to take a little detour. Still, if your arrow hit the Divine One, Brodius standing would have been seriously hurt. Be more careful next time, Prince Alcrest. I will. I really am sorry. You cannot be held liable, Alcrest. You had no way of knowing who they were. Was it not possible for your party to arrive in a more royal, more resplendent manner? This is the Kingdom of Warriors. If you can't dodge one arrow, you're not worthy to enter. Here, the weak serve the strong. Maybe we should give you a little test, hmm? What did you say? She didn't mean that. Apologies. My country places too much value on strength. Besides, you have nothing to prove. I am well aware of your battle prowess, Prince Alfred. Oh, well, thank you. I am so sorry for all this. So sorry. And I'm sorry it's me greeting you instead of someone better. You can stop apologizing. I'm grateful that a prince is here to receive us personally. Really? You're grateful to see... me? Yes. Honored, in fact. <sighs> How polite of you to say so. Charming as well as divine, I see. Could you do me the favor of being less dazzling? I find it uh, so hard to shine as it is. Uh, all right. Now, come with me. I can show you the way to Brodia Castle. We will arrive at the Grand Crossing soon. That will take us to the castle. Good. Divine one, if I may. I was wondering about something Queen Ev said in her letter. Is it true that Illusia has released Sombron? It's true. An Illusion we fought told us as much. I see. We'd heard rumors to that effect, but I didn't dare believe them. <sighs> Those neighbors of ours. You will need all the rings to defeat the Fell Dragon, right? For generations, my country has possessed the Ring of the Young Lion. The Ring of the Young Lion. It has a red stone and a certain... gallant aura. Diamant, the Crown Prince, told me he's been hearing a voice from the Ring. He's a remarkable person. I'm lucky to be his brother. You really admire him, don't you? Oh, yes. He's strong, wise, humble. The King adores him, as do our people. My brother is cut from the noblest cloth. I'm afraid I was made from the tatters. There's no need to be so hard on yourself. Ah, there it is. The Grand Crossing. There seem to be a great many soldiers out today. Wait a moment. Those are... Illusion soldiers. They're occupying the bridge. No. It took you long enough. Very rude to keep a princess waiting. Very rude indeed. Princess? That would be me, the second princess of Illusia Hortensia! Now then, hello, everybody! Illusia?
Lucia's second princess? Uh-huh, in the flesh. And you're the divine dragon. Uh, right. Ew, I knew it! I can totally tell. You're the prettiest. It's a dead giveaway. I always thought Lumera was the only divine dragon. You could have knocked me over with a feather when I found out there was another one. Wow, those mismatched eyes of yours are something to see. Don't come any closer. You wicked illusions aren't worthy to approach the Divine Dragon. <sighs> Nobody asked you, Brodian. Besides, we're not the wicked ones. You are. <sighs> My father says Brodia is a greedy, barbaric country. You're always invading our territory, taking our land. It's the worst. Do you know how many people you've hurt? Not just soldiers, but regular people. We're not just invading to expand. We are keeping your vicious, unpredictable kingdom in check. I take it you're retaliating? Launching a full-scale invasion to take your revenge? <laughs> Hardly. I couldn't lead such an ambitious attack. I'm just here to take your rings. By order of my father, King Hyacinth. He told you to do this? Yep. Now, if there are no more questions, fork over the goods and we'll all go home breathing. Never. Aww, I thought nabbing your rings would be the easy job. Lucky big sis getting to attack the castle instead. The crown princess? She's going to attack Brodia Castle? Oops, probably shouldn't have said that. We must go right away. Huh, as if I'd let you pass. My father is going to be so proud of me. All illusion soldiers, forward march! Get me those rings! We must deal with them quickly and return to the castle. There's not a moment to spare. Of course, Prince Alchrist. Leave it to us. I wager we'll be back in time for dinner. Such confidence. But I'm still concerned about casualties. I will protect you both. So brave. But, uh, as your retainers, it's really our job to protect you. Now then, get behind me. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, Chris, don't be ridiculous. You're an archer. You should be at the rear. Hang on, Citrine. You should also be in the back. Ah, uh, you too. Looks like it's starting. To your positions, everyone. Oh, the Divine Dragon is absolutely... <sighs> absolutely not as cute as we are? Right, exactly. 
<laughs> That's the spirit. Outshine the enemy, and then defeat them. Now, let's seal those rings and do Hortensia proud. Ready to start? Yes, Rosado. Let's make quick work of them. Prince Alchrist, Citrine, stay back. I'll handle this. I can knock down anyone who stands in our way. join in her attacks. We'll have to be careful. No! Like that, 
you! Waste my time. It's a wash. I'm ready. I must repay you later. strong. Second steward of the dragon. I can't believe I did. 
get that? Anytime. as strong as ever. Yeah, 
I have to retreat. Return the ring. No way! I'm the one who's after the rings! We could have done this the easy way, but no! You had to be stubborn. I'm stubborn? My prayers are with you! They fled in a hurry. Hmm. There's a lot of damage to the bridge. It may take time to find a safe path forward. We didn't recover the emblem ring. We didn't lose any either. And most importantly, you're not hurt. Let's call that good enough. <sighs> you're right. It is plain now that Queen Lumera's stolen rings lie in Illusia's hands. In which case, we can deduce that they possess five. Five? Yes. Counting the rings taken from Lethos Castle. The rings of the Sage Lord, the Azure Twins, the Instructor, and of course, the Princess Exalt. Princess Hortensia was wielding the latter, as you'll recall. Besides those four, there was one entrusted to them by your forebears. Which one? If I may, I believe it's the Ring of the Lady of the Plains. The King favors it, or so I've heard. He keeps it in his personal chambers. His chambers? That's odd. Fyrne's ring has a hall in the castle all to itself. Where does your kingdom keep its ring? Like Fyrne, we store ours in a special gallery in the castle. 
Speaking of which, how soon might we be able to depart? I really am worried about the situation there. The soldiers should be back from patrol soon. Let's prepare to leave. Thank you. If anything has happened to my father or brother, I don't know what I'll do. Yes. Amazing! Oh, my! A moment. Right. said to me, me. All, all those long, long years, years ago. ago. Where, Where are, are you, you, brother? brother? 